I'd like to show you the difference between importing a picture as a texture and importing it as an image. And for this, I have a screen capture that I made using Sketchbook Pro. I made a sketch of a deck plan here with a bench and a railing. And I'd like to get that into SketchUp so that I can model it. So let me just switch over to SketchUp and choose File, Import. Select the picture type here. And down below you have three choices. Use as image, texture, or a new matched photo. I'm going to just cover these first two options in this video. Let's try it as a texture first. I'll select it and import it. The cursor has the image attached, and you'll notice that as I go over different surfaces, the image will automatically reorient to be parallel to the face. I'll click down here, and then I have an opportunity to scale the texture interactively. I'll click over here, and it's done. Because it's a texture, it exists in the coordinates of the surface, so it can't project beyond the object. Of course, I can go in and edit the texture position and scale it and so on. I can do all of these different functions. I can even change the opacity by going over here, double clicking on it, and dragging the slider down so I can start to see through the texture and into the interior of the box. On the other hand, let's try importing it as an image. Select the same file, but down here, we're going to tell SketchUp that we want to use it as an image. Import, and the behavior is the same right now, where the object reorients according to the surface that I'm over. This time I'll bring it in over here, and again I can scale it in much the same way. But when I click the second point, you'll appreciate the difference. This is a separate object that exists independently of the surface to which I apply it. Indeed, this can actually be moved apart from the object. And if you go into Entity Info, you'll see that this is a special object type called Image. You can't change anything about it. This is just for your information only. Now, you can actually explode the image, and that turns it into a face with edges. Now we could use those edges to help crop the image. Here I need to make sure that I stay in the blue direction, so I press the up arrow. And this way I can crop out some of that user interface from Sketchbook Pro. Triple click to select All Connected and make a group to protect it. Now I can move it over and position it over an object to act as a sort of template. Managing material libraries on the PC, you have a secondary selection pane that allows you to drag and drop materials from one pane to the other. On the Mac, material library management is a bit different. At the very bottom of the materials window, you'll see this little dot. If you drag that down, you'll see there are a number of white squares here, and some of them may or may not have colors or materials associated with them. Essentially, these are like memory squares. It's like having a clipboard with many different locations. If you have a material that you'd like to move from one folder to another, what you do is you drag it into one of these squares. So that now represents this material that has the painting. Now I can create a new list called Painting. Now I can drag this material into the folder. And so in that way, you can move materials from one folder to another. And because these memory squares are persistent between sessions, it allows you to drag materials between SketchUp files. There's no right-click menu here, so you can't actually delete things individually. But what you can do is drag a blank slot onto a full slot and overwrite it, thereby removing that texture from the memory grid.